Hi, this is Jeff Mesnick, and I'm here with Mark Cassidy who, uh, from Vestigo Ventures, who just came back from his recent trip to South by Southwest. How's it going, Mark? Great, Jeff. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing good, doing good. It's a nice day here in Boston, so <laughs> can't complain. About time. About yes. Time to have good weather, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what we enjoyed about Austin the most, was decent weather in March. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sure. Austin's beautiful. It really is. Yeah. It's a good... So what were the what would you say would be, you know, the top three? I mean, you probably had so many things going on, but the top three takeaways from that, from the, those meetings from it? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, no, it, it was great on a lot of different levels. The first one was what I would describe as, as collisions, right? Being a, a chance to talk to people who are already venture capitalists and fintech, to talk to startup companies in the space, and just other observers from the industry who could just validate what it is that we're trying to do at, at uh, Vestigo. Uh, and that's certainly part of what we found was that the collisions that were random and, and interesting uh, were quite helpful to uh, to learn quite a bit about fintech uh, as an industry. Uh, it's really starting to emerge uh, and also to learn a lot about um, where we were in, in stages uh, of development. Fintechs had heavy investment from venture in the last two or three years. But uh, part of what we're trying to figure out is are we still early days or not. Uh, in the space. And, and uh, the biggest validation we got is that we are in the early stages. Mm -hmm. Second was that there are a lot of good people in the fintech space, and it still feels like a small industry. So people are willing to share ideas and share startup companies that they're seeing and share ways to work together. So that was really wonderful. Uh, and then the third was just to see the incredible technology, particularly around data science um, and mm -hmm. thinking about how that could be used uh, in fintech startups, uh, as also uh, could be used for fintech incumbents. Oh, that's great. And if you, when, you know, you spend a lot of time talking to a lot of the fintech startups. Yes. Is there anything that you you now you know as new advice that you would give them that you may have learned from the, from you know those this adventure? Yeah, I think what we saw were I've saw probably fifteen to twenty different startups in the space, which was mm -hmm. great. And uh, the first thing I'd say is make sure you are narrow enough, right, to show uh, demonstrated success. So that would be first advice. Don't try to cover the world right. uh, with the idea. Secondly, make sure the idea is deep enough. Uh, so in other words, don't create a company that in the end has just a few million dollars worth of revenues, but really is quite a, a deep idea uh, and rich in terms of the target market. Uh, and third is never give up, <laughs> no matter yeah. what, right? no matter how you look at it, just don't give up <laughs> keep going forward. Um, if your idea is a good one, uh, you'll get traction and away you'll go. And I saw some of your notes. This market is basically set to explode. Is that correct? I mean, you've heard, you saw some numbers and heard some reports over there. Yes, we saw a number of things that validated our premise, which is it was early days in fintech. My favorite takeaway line was we're at the end of the beginning. So right. very validating for that. Uh, we've done some studies that show that basically fintech is underinvested. Uh, that if you look at consumer products, for example, we all know about Amazon, and everything else, yeah. that venture money there is five times larger than it is at fintech, yet the opportunity is about the same, measured in trillions of dollars, uh, this opportunity to displace incumbents is about the same. So that means that fintech is going to get quite a bit more uh, venture money uh, taken to it. Uh, and that's part of what we're trying to do at best to go is invest that intelligently for our LPs. That's great. And so when you take a look at the companies that you're meeting with, what is what is a good profile of a company that would say that really would capture catch your eye and best to go ventures and say, oh, you know what, we really need to jump into this one? Well, that's a, that's a great question. You're trying to figure out what are the best companies to invest in is yeah. the <laughs> issue for all venture firms, right? right? Um, we've seen about 250 business plans now uh, at Vestigo, and wow. we've invested in two effectively mm -hmm. uh, from those business plans. And they tend to have you know, similar characteristics. Number one, they have founders who are incredibly impressive people, so it is truly all about the team. Yep. Secondly, they have ideas that are big ideas that, that can create quite a sizable business because of the total market opportunity that's there. Uh, and three, they're uh, well along the development of their technology. Um, in other words, it's not uh, something where you're investing to create the technology, but they already have it uh, in hand and can show, even if it's early days, uh, some dem demonstrable uh, use uh, by the target audience that they're after. Uh, so I would just you know come back to, to anything we learned at South by Southwest ties to that and affirms that it really is all about the team and the market opportunity. Uh, makes sense, because I know you guys have a great team also. So. Looking for Thank good you. teams to work together. That's exactly right. It's all, <laughs> all about making sure the team gets along well, shares ideas, pushes each other back. 
right? And one of my favorite uh, techniques uh, sometimes in managing is, is what I call the contra view, right? So you yeah. take an idea, should we invest in company X? That's a startup at best to go and somebody else will take the view, no, we shouldn't. Uh, and that way we push the idea back and forth. And again, that was validated at South by Southwest when I talked to other venture capitalists uh, in the space and how they go about thinking about whether a company's investable or not. Great. Well, look, I really appreciate the time. This has been excellent. And I think um, our listeners and our viewers will really enjoy listening to, to this types of stuff. And we'll do more of these um, every month. So we'll continue to provide some uh, of your insight into uh, companies and maybe some advice for in future investors as well as, our, as one of our next uh, issues. That sounds good. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Have a right. great day.